This is the wave and wave tank and a touring tank. So if you look at this tank, it contains 60,000 liter of water and we have the huge wave pedals. So it pushes water and generates waves. If you look at the other end of the, this wave tank, there is a absorption beach. It will break the wave. With this man-made waves, we can make the scientists and engineers to understand the, the most challenging problems from the, how the tsunami is formed and impact on the coastal areas to the uh, dynamic response of the marine renewable energy devices. For example, the dynamic response of the, of the offshore floating wind turbine or the tidal energy devices or the wave energy converters. This wave tank is 30 meters long with uh, one and a half meter width and uh, it contains 60,000 liters of water and it could generate a wave height which to half meter and we have the touring speed with 3.2 meters per second. This wave tank basically teach them the basic wave theories and how to generate waves. Based on our theory, we can control this wave pedal and we can design the algorithm that could generate any wave we want, from regular wave to irregular wave to solitary wave or focus waves, and also study the impact on the structure of what is the forces and the pressures, what would do harm to the offshore energy devices. We have a control center there to control the wave pedals. So the wave basically is pushing the, 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 the water and in a periodic way, so that it generates a sine or cosine a regular wave reaching to the other directions. And in the other end, we have absorption beach that decay the energy, breaking the wave, stops the reflection. This one is basically is controlled by a touring line and uh, it could control the, the velocity and displacement of this wave pedal. And from this velocity and the displacement, we can estimate it, what is the wave, how the wave is generated. We have some basic sensors on each of the different distance uh, based on this wave pedal. So we can measure the elevations of the free surface to get the inf information of the wave height with time. And uh, if we have a structure placed inside, the, the pressure sensor or the force sensor is, pl is normally is, uh, placed inside the structure. We also have force sensors on these touring platforms to detect the drag forces and lift forces. This wave tank is mainly used for the uh, fluid mechanics loading courses, which I'm the model leader. And uh, it's also used in the group project. As you know, at Cranfield, we have a very strong connections with the industry. So we help the small and the big companies to solve their problems. Last year, our stu my students have a funded group project by a local company. They want to study the dynamic response of their marine energy devices. So they finish their group project using this wave tank. The data feeds back to the sensors. So we have the pressure sensor, we have the force sensor. Also, we have the camera system to record how the wave is breaks, uh, how the object is moved. At Cranfield, we have a very strong numerical team as well. Not only we have this physical wave tank, we built a digital twin of this wave tank. So the students would also practice their digital twins of wave tank in the computers. The last year we have the uh, group project funded by its uh, robotics company in the marine is a marine robotics and uh, most of this one is used by the marine uh, company for example in the offshore platforms could be oil and gas industry also could be the uh, offshore wind and tidal and, and and wave with this wave tank we also improve the performance of the tidal turbine as you see that we have a tidal turbine model there. So we can place that tidal turbine inside the, this and toy it and, uh, and measure and optimize the design. 30 meters long wave tank is very special 